This is a ultrasonic cleaner. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight. It's Central Machinery, and the Harbor Freight item number is 63256. These are a two and a half liter ultrasonic cleaner, and I use them for cleaning my reels. It saves you a lot of scrubbing by hand. And I got a couple of tips I'll share with you too. First of all, I fill the tank about halfway between the minimum and max fill lines. And then I use a separate container to actually put my cleaning solution in. That keeps you from having to clean the tank so often. As you can see, I'm just using a plastic ice cream pail to put my cleaning solution in. And for my cleaning solution, I use about two tablespoons of Dawn Ultra and about an equivalent amount of distilled white vinegar and then I fill the ice cream pail up about three quarters of the way with just plain water. This is just a good general purpose cleaner. Have your cat check your water levels to make sure you haven't overfilled anything. If you have a dog you can have them check it too but honestly my dog doesn't inspect my work as thoroughly as my cat does. These are called Urban Spice Infusers. They're also called strainers. It keeps all the small parts in the same place so I don't have to go fishing them out of the plastic container individually. I'm just gonna speed parts of the video up to keep my video a little shorter in length. So once I have all my small parts in, I just put the infuser inside the cleaning solution. Then I add all the real body parts. I always set the timer for the maximum length of time. And you can see here all these small bubbles that are forming are because of the agitation that the ultrasonic cleaner provides. And that really allows the cleaner to get into areas that would be hard to get with a brush and time consuming also. You can see the cleaning solution is starting to turn kind of a grayish blue color and that's a lot of the dirt and the grease getting caught in suspension in the cleaning solution. So once it's done its cleaning cycle I'll go ahead and rinse everything out real thoroughly with clean water and then I put everything back into the parts cleaner and let it run a cleaning cycle with fresh water to neutralize the vinegar. Everything comes out nice and clean. This is not a heavy duty degreaser cleaning solution. If I've got something that has old grease that's really caked on and stuck, I'll use something more of a solvent, like I'll use acetone at times. Other times I'll use naphtha. Those are good solvents for removing grease. And I will put those in the parts cleaner, but I do not turn the heater on when I'm doing that because those are flammable. But when I run the solution I mix myself, I always use the heater because it seems to clean a little more thoroughly with heat. And the little reel I'm cleaning up is a real inexpensive one, I'm sure, when it was new. It's a Shakespeare, but it's actually made pretty well. It's really not too bad. I've got to do a little work to it. I've already replaced a spring that did the bell open and close function. It was broke, and I'm sure that's why the people got rid of it. Also, the line roller has a groove cut into it, and the line roller is made out of brass, so it's really too soft. So what I'm going to do is machine one up out of some stainless steel rod and put that in there in its place. And on the bearings, after they've run through a cleaning cycle, I'll go ahead and just drop them in acetone and I run those through the parts cleaner. 
because you want to make sure to get all the old grease out of the bearings. Also had to use naphtha and a toothbrush on the pinion gear because it didn't come completely clean. So that's all I've got guys. I just wanted to show you all these parts cleaners. I think they do a good job and if you're interested in one of these parts cleaner, the tips about using a separate container to actually do the cleaning in and using the little infuser to put small parts in will be useful to you. Take care and tight lines.